All right, now we're going to draw, this one is a flamingo, okay? It's just the top of the flamingo, just the neck and the head. And to get this shape, we're going to use our hand and we're gonna kind of curve it funny, okay? So it's like this and we're gonna kind of bring our fingers together like this, like we're pretending to be, to talk with our hand and then we're going to curve it down, okay? So we kind of make this beak shape. So let's move this over and get my black crayon. You can do it in marker or crayon. So this one's in marker, but I wanna show you in crayon so you can see um, the different options. So whatever you have at home, you can use, or you can use pencil if that's all you have as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my hand in this weird position Okay, all right, I'm going to trace. So I'm gonna go around my fingers, there we go. All right, so I end up with this weird kind of looking shape. Um, and we need to add a little extra down here for our beak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, start at the top here and I'm just going to make kind of a, um, a curvy triangle. So I'm going to do a curve coming down like this and then I'm going to start at the other side and do another curve coming down. Okay. And then I'll kind of come to a point like a beak and we can put a little stripe down the middle. So it looks like the beak, um, where the beak opens. Okay. Where it can open and close. Okay, and I'm gonna, this line for my fingernails is kind of bumpy, so I'm going to just curve that a little bit more straight. Okay, now I need to get the shape for the eye. And it's kind of shaped like, um, like if you've ever looked in the mirror with your mouth open and you see your uvula, it's that's a lot, big word, but it's called, or when I was little, I called it the hangy down thing in my throat. So it's kind of shaped like that, but going up. So I'm gonna go like this, it goes up, and then back around, okay? And that kind of gives us the shape for where our eye goes. And our eye is gonna go right here in the middle of that little um, spot. Okay, and then we're just going to draw a, a line to connect that. Okay, and a line, I'm going to draw um, a line down the middle to kind of meet where that beak is. And then I'm going to draw kind of an arch line or a curved line above that one. So like this. So when I color it in, I'm gonna leave that section white and I'm just gonna color in around it. So, so that, that way it shows kind of some, that the beak could be shiny. So when it's all colored in, that part stays white and it kind of separates the beak into two spots, two spaces and it makes it look like it's shiny. Okay, I'm gonna just, um, my crayon is a little bit light, so I'm gonna um, darken it up a little bit, just a little. So I'm gonna trace over it again or you can leave it light, it's up to you. Okay, I can leave the picture black and white, just like this if I want, if I don't have anything to color in. Or I can, if I have some crayons and I wanna color, um, it in. If you need to, I'm going to test this pink on the back and see. 
Well, that's a nice pink. I have a few others. I think I like the first one, so I'm just gonna use this pink. Um, and I'm gonna color in my neck, my flamingo's neck. Again, you can do this with crayon or marker, depending on what you have. If you have both, just whatever ones you want to use. Let's say you have black marker, but you don't have a pink marker, but you have a pink crayon, you could do the black part in marker and the pink part with the crayon, or vice versa. So whatever you want to do, I'm gonna turn my paper so I can color the head. I'm coloring around the eye. I wanna leave that part white. Okay, I'm just gonna brush off any extra crumbs from the crayon. And there is my flamingo. Let me show you the one with marker. So this is what the crayon looks like and this is what the marker looks like. They both turned out pretty cool. So either way is uh, will work fine. All right, have fun.